Hello everyone! In this video, we'll have a look at different forms of words and some suffixes used to form the words. Then we'll have a few practice on them and you'll hopefully continue with further practice. Let's start! Okay, here is a small text about ice cream. Do you guys like ice cream? And this is ice cream cone here. Have you ever wondered how the ice cream cone was invented? Well, let's read the text and find it out. Pause the video if you need time. So, right, cones came up as a practical solution when an ice cream seller ran out of spoons and dishes. Okay, now we'll come back to this text for some adjective hunting, but first let's have a look at adjective suffixes. Okay, here we go. Here we have some adjective suffixes. So suffixes here, like y, ible, full, if, less, ik, ikl. These suffixes come at the end of the words and they form an adjective. Let's start with this one here. So mess, messy, hair, hairy. So it gives the meaning of describing a main quality here. And then we have this suffix here, like in responsible, response, responsible, love, lovable. It gives the meaning of being capable, being able. Okay, and then we have full, painful, peaceful, peace, peaceful. And we have if here, effect, effective, explosive. If gives the meaning of uh, having the nature. And then we have less. Less means without, homeless, useless. And we have ik or ikl, like in biology, biological, poet, poetic. Uh, this suffix here gives the meaning of relation. So biological means related to biology okay guys as you can see we have some missing adjectives here one for this adject uh, this suffix here one for full here it's missing and this one is missing here and we have one missing for less so let's go back to this text and find these adjectives here and write them on our web Pause the video if you need time. Okay, let's see. So, the first one is creative here. A creative ice cream seller. And the, next, the other one is hopeless. Without hope. And next one is profitable. Able to make profit. And thankful. The last one is here, thankful. Okay, guys, now pause the video and think of other examples of adjectives that fits into these patterns. Can you find other adjectives? Okay, now let's have some practice on these suffixes. Pause the video and complete the text. Add the suffixes to the words in brackets. Here are the answers. Now we have another exercise. Again, pause the video and complete the sentences with the correct form of the words in the box. Here are the answers. So we've talked about adjective building suffixes so far. Now we'll have a look at noun suffixes. So these are suffixes here, Asian, 
Shen, meant, n, nes, and iti. These are suffixes that form nouns. Let's have a look at here. Educate, education. Relax, relaxation. Imagine, imagination. Immigrate, immigration. Like near pollution, instruction, depression, competition, entertainment, improvement, employment, agreement. So all these uh, suffixes here came at the end of a verb. So all of them are a verb here. Educate, pollute, depress, compete, employ. And then we have ing. Uh, this is used more as an activity. So run, running. Again, a verb, verb verb running smoke smoking laugh laughing eat eating and we have ness weakness loneliness happiness kindness so ness here do you think it comes again uh, to a verb or to an adjective Adjective, right? Weak is an adjective. Lonely is an adjective. Happy and kind, they are adjectives. And witness, they become a noun. Weak, adjective. Witness, noun. Happy, adjective. Happiness, noun. And we have its creativity, stupidity, sensitivity, and responsibility. Okay, so these are all nouns. Now we have on the right hand column, we have some words here. Now pause the video and um, add the right suffix to these words and put them into the right category here. Okay, here are the answers. Now we have one practice uh, on the noun suffixes. Pause the video and complete the sentences with the right form of the words. Here are the answers. Okay, here are further practice suggestions for you. Enjoy!